to prepare women for life don't at all. Like I was in the Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts does not teach you any skills, right? The Girl Scouts basically teaches you to sell a bunch of cookies that you didn't freaking make, okay? Like if you're to take the skills you learned in the Girl Scouts and apply them as an adult, you're selling things to strangers in a mini skirt. You're a hooker. That's what you do for a living. <laughs> That's your job now. But guys learn real skills. You guys, you know, go to the Eagle Scouts and you guys learn how to, you know, make ropes and ugh. You know, make fires and stuff. And women don't learn those kind of survival skills. And I was thinking about how much that pissed me off after that happened to me, you know. But then I kind of like got perspective. I was like, you know what, guys may know how to make ropes and fires and stuff, but women, we can make people. Okay, that is pretty badass, okay? Give me the backseat of a Taurus and some Sutter home, I can duplicate. <laughs> and guess what? It comes out on a freaking rope. <laughs> it's hard though, going from a long relationship to starting to date again is very difficult because when you're in a long-term relationship, you're comfortable, right? You don't have to wear any makeup, you can just pee in front of the person or whatever. When you're dating somebody new, you have to try to be perfect for the new guy. Like, I've been dating a new guy, and I've been trying to be so perfect. Basically, the first, like, three months of me dating this guy, every second has basically been me trying to not fart. <laughs> That's all it is. Every second of every day, it's just like, please don't fart, please don't fart, please don't fart. Please don't fart. My ass is in the shape of its life. That's the upside. But the hard part is that I'll sometimes stay at his house for like a couple days at a time, you know, and I have to hold it in so long that by the time I leave, I'm like, all right, see you later. <gasps> sometimes you can catch air and like. Because <laughs> you're always trying to be perfect for the new guy, you know? Like when I stay at this guy's house, the extent to which I try to be perfect for this guy, I will wake up at 6 a.m. while he's still asleep sneak into the bathroom, put on a full face of makeup, sneak back into bed so by the time he wakes up I look like Lady Gaga or something. <laughs> Which is so ridiculous. Women, we do not need to look cute in the morning for our man. We don't need it. Because guys, before your eyes even open in the morning, you guys have erections. <laughs> you don't even know what's lying next to you and you're just ready to have sex with it. Really? <laughs> you are heathens. You guys literally wake up in the morning, you're like... <clears throat> Where's a hole? Give me a hole. <laughs> it is barbaric. I don't know if girls want to hear this, but the truth is 90% of the activities that women engage in revolve around getting a guy's attention, okay? And it's just the way we're built biologically. This is just something we do. We love to get your attention. It's part of the sport of it, all right? You think I go to a sports bar because I like warm beer and sticky bar stools? No, I go because there's guys there. You think I do a pub crawl every year because I like it when my liver hurts? No, I go because there's guys there. We don't wear heels for our circulation. We do it to prop up our butt so you'll look at me and want to mate with me. That's why we do it. This isn't a fucking game, all right? This isn't a push-up bra, it's body armor. And this ain't makeup, sweetheart, it's war paint. Let's make a baby. exactly what they're doing. We know exactly what you like, what you don't like. We do our research when we like a guy. And by research, I mean we Facebook stalk you. But we do it. <laughs> I know your favorite foods. I know where you went on vacation. I know that your favorite team is the Cowboys. I know all about that. I'm totally into you. That's right. They say men are hunters and women are gatherers. Well, kind of. Women are gatherers. We like to gather information about you and then we hunt you. <laughs> You think when I bring you home to meet mom on Christmas, it's because I want her to meet you? No, it's so I can be like, mom, look what I caught. <laughs> we have to, because guys are kind of passive when it comes to meeting women. Sure, they go out, but girls make a sport of it. My guy friends don't care. If they had their way, they'd spend every Saturday night with each other, which is weird, watching A Thousand Ways to Die, eating sandwiches, ragging on their one friend that has a huge nutsack for no reason. Like, that's what they would do. <laughs> Going out's very important. You got a real job, your weekend is very important to you because a weekend represents 48 hours that you have to fuck up the life that you work so hard for all week. That's what your weekend is. If you're a real professional, your weekend starts Thursday at like 5 p.m. Right? You go to happy hour, happy hour trickles into like nighttime, you drink a little bit, because you can go to work a little hungover, right? No one's doing real work on Friday. Nobody's working on a Friday. Nobody's working on a Friday, because it's what? Shabbat. No, because it's Friday and nobody cares. 
ever been at work, your boss is never gonna be like, let's get in those reports and start brainstorming. And you're like, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, you were serious. Okay, little hand job, I'll be at my desk, that's fine. <laughs> Girls take going out very seriously because that's our hunting grounds. Going out, let's do it. <laughs> Do you want to do like a girl's night? Do you want to do that? Every weekend I get calls from my girlfriends. Do you want to do like just girls? Do you want to do like a fun girls night? Eliza, I'm talking to you. Eliza, do you want to do that? <laughs> do you want to do like a girl? We'll just do like, we'll all wear like fun shoes and we'll all get like appies and then we'll do like a fun girls night. Do you want to do that? I want to do a girls night. I made an evite for the four of us. You didn't answer, because I'm standing right here. You're such a bitch. <laughs> let's do a girls' night. Let's do just girls, no boys. Let's just all wear wedges and no boys. <laughs> let's not do boys, just girls, just the girls. I'm like, why? We hate each other. <laughs> girls hate each other. She hates you, especially during the day. <laughs> but when the moon comes up and there's white wine involved, oh my God, Stacy, you look amazing. I fucking love you. And you notice the drunker you get, the more Spanish you start speaking. <laughs> oh my God, mamacita, muy caliente. Woo! <laughs> fucking love you, chica. But the more love you give to one girlfriend, the more love you must taketh away from another girlfriend. It's how we keep balance in the girl universe. I love you, can I just tell you? <laughs> I love you, I do. But you know who I hate? Becky. But there's so many things I love about men. I love your self-confidence. Um, when Martin and I play golf, I love how far he thinks he's going to hit the ball. <laughs> we'll be standing on the tee, and I'll say, why don't you swing? He'll say, I don't want to hit that thing. It's the sun. <laughs> he just loves watching sports. He'll watch any sport. He even watches poker on television. Have you ever seen poker on TV? To me, it always looks like lunchtime at a methadone clinic. <laughs> and of course, baseball. But uh, I can watch baseball. I just have to be in the right frame of mind. I have to be asleep. <laughs> and he even watches golf on television. That's not the most exciting sport to watch on TV. Did you know that if you tape golf and then you play it back in slow motion, there's no difference. Did you know that? <laughs> enjoy different things. Women, we love to talk. You know who we tell? We tell our hairdressers everything. They know everything about us, don't they? And you know what? We don't even know their last names. My husband reveals nothing about himself. Martin went to his barber, has medium length brownish gray hair, came home with a shaved head. I said, what happened to you? He said, oh, my barber thought I was someone else. I said, why didn't you tell him who you were? He said, because I didn't feel it was any of his business, okay? <laughs> Men and women react differently to situations. If a woman sees a mess, she cleans it up. If a man sees a mess, he announces it. <laughs> Rita, the dog just threw up at the top of the stairs. Okay, I'll be there in a second. Try not to do anything about it. Men and women, we have different beliefs. Martin believes in the sink fairy. He thinks if you put a dirty dish in the sink, the sink fairy washes it. I said, did you ever notice that whenever I leave, so does the sink fairy? He said, yes, why do you take the sink fairy with you? Men and women, we say different things. Here's something you never hear a man say. I feel bloated. Here's something you never hear a woman say. Hit me in the stomach. <laughs> Here's something you'll never hear two women say to each other when they accidentally meet on the street. <gasps> Asshole. <laughs> Here's something you'll never hear two men say to each other after a business lunch. I'm going to the bathroom, wanna come? <laughs> 